Hello everyone, my name is Hank and I am the best PC building dog that ever lived. I was born in a small town in Australia but had a big dream to leave my family, friends and 47 small children behind, move to the good old US of A and live next to a micro center so I could build a PC flipping empire. If you've been following the channel, you know I achieved that goal. Liar! Sort of. Let me explain. We were making money hand over foot, but I got greedy and built my dream gaming PC with a 4090 thrown in it and went into 2700 bucks into debt. Fast forward a few months later, we sold over 20 PCs, clawed our way out of debt to end up 2,000 spankers in the green before I once again got greedy, built a racing simulator that was run by an RTX 5080 PC so that I could start a gaming channel, and went right back into debt again, mate. We are addicted to spending cash, but fear not. Another few months have passed and we have seriously been on our grind. The last update we gave, we were only negative 140 bucks in the red, so in today's video, we are going to go through some of our recent flips, how we sold them, how long it took to sell each one and whether I'd recommend building these specific rigs for flipping or if I'd avoid using these particular parts. But before we start, mate, get this video to 1,000 likes and my dad, the Whitney man, will buy me a 5090 and he, I mean, I am desperate for it. Yeah. Anyway, the first PC I will introduce you to is this immaculate 9070 XT PC paired with the 9800 X3D all white in the Montec XR PC case. This thing was an absolute beauty and thanks to open box deals on the case, motherboard, CPU, and on the 9070 XT, all from Micro Center, we were able to build this thing for under 1500 bucks, which is absolutely bonkers. This is by far the best performing video we have had on the channel, so go check it out after this one, mate. The link is down below. At the same time, we also built this ultra clean, more professional looking wood grain RTX 5070 Ti PC paired with an Intel i9 13900K for 1569 bucks, which is also an absolute bargain. And this set up an epic sell off battle between this NVIDIA machine versus our 9070 XT AMD masterpiece. We threw them on Facebook Marketplace for 2000 bucks and put them on jawa.gg for $2,100 to account for the fees of selling on this website. We waited for a full week at this price and got literally zero messages on either PC, so obviously we were being a bit crazy with the prices. So we moved it down to 1900 on Jawa and 1800 on Facebook Marketplace, and despite AMD skyrocketing in popularity online, the pre market is still clearly yearning for NVIDIA GPUs and i9 Intel CPUs. So the 5070 Ti machine sold immediately upon the price drop while the AMD machine just sat there waiting and waiting Bruh. and waiting. <laughs> So Facebook Marketplace is known for having its delusional messages made, and we are going to share some of them right now. We had two different people offer us a trade for their 4050 laptops. Yeah! Mate, I usually like to be wined and dined before you. Screw me. Get out of here with that nonsense. We don't want no 4050. We ended up selling the 5070 Ti at its asking price for 1800 bucks to this super nice guy who gave me a five-star rating. He said he was pleased by the PC, called me honest, reliable, and trustworthy. Thank you, mate. You are making me blush. And with that same we made a cool 231 US dollars in profit, which is not bad at all, mate. We've got all the currency conversions on the right here. Over the past few months, people have been adding things in, including squirrel skins, what mate. You that? all need help for some of these requests, seriously. Despite its popularity by the PC Master Race, the 9070 XT took an additional three weeks to sell, and we had to continuously drop the price. It was insane how long it took to sell, considering how good it was built and how well it played games and benchmark, but we finally got it there thanks to Jawa.gg, mate. If you don't know what that is, it's an online marketplace for selling gaming PCs over here in the USA. After fees, we got a payout of 1,709 bucks, so we made a total profit of 211 US dollars, wow. and importantly, the buyer loved it, mate. They gave me a five-star review and just read the message. This is one of the nicest reviews I've ever got. It was an absolutely huge help for my Jawa.gg selling profile, so we appreciate it, mate, and hopefully you are crushing games right now on that rig, because it was a beast to play with. This was also our ninth sale on Jawa.gg, so we can now apply to be a verified seller, mate. That's what I'm talking about. Next up, we had another epic AMD battle starting with this 5060 Ti versus this 9060 XT 16 gigabyte. Both of these cards were thrown into the exact same system, one in a black case and one in a white case, mate, to see which one would sell better. And they had the best price to performance AM5 chip on the market, in my opinion, the Ryzen 5 7500F, and both had 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and were in this super slick Okinos Mirage 4 micro ATX case, which was an absolute 
dream to build in. The full build guide is linked below, but even though the 9070 XT was in a white case, which usually sells a lot faster, once again, Nvidia came out on top and sold a day before we even listed it. How is that possible, you ask? Go watch the full video to see why, but basically this dude purchased it to give it to his 12-year-old son who had just built a complete sim rig to play iRacing. What? Absolutely insane, mate. My dad left me to go get a carton of cigarettes when I was three years old and he still isn't back. Why'd you leave me, daddy? Oh! Uh, anyway, mate, it cost us 948 spankers to build this puppy, and we were going to list it for $1,200, mate, which would have gave us a great profit, and I think we could have sold it for it pretty easily because a lot of these pre-builds are like $1,300 for the 5070 Ti. But, mate, this dude is giving it to his son so he could chase his sim racing dream, and we love sim racing. We have a sim racing series playing F125 career mode over on our gaming channel, so go check it out after this. The playlist is linked down below. But because we wanted to help this man's son achieve his dream, we sold to him for 1100 bucks, so we still got a nice 152 US dollars of profit. But more importantly, we helped make a young man's dream come true, and nothing can beat that price. Goddamn right. The 9060 XT sold one week later. A guy put a deposit down on it and picked it up the following week for his girlfriend, mate. Boyfriend of the year right there. We got some interesting messages on this one, though. Two people recognized me on Facebook Marketplace, so my identity is now ruined, mate. Don't ask them to see my face. I'm hideous. One of them asked me to say hi to Hank. Thanks, mate. I'll give him a pet for you. The other guy sent me this really nice message right here and brought a tear to my eye. Thank you, buddy. This is what we do it for. Hank loves you, and we make videos to try and inspire people, even if we are a 30-year-old maniac building PCs with his long ah wiener dog. In the end, even though the 9060 XT took longer to sell than the 5060 Ti, we made a higher profit as the 9060 XT was cheaper. So in total, we made 192 US dollars to add to the pot. So not bad, Sheilas and fellas. Not bad at all. Moving right along to our final AMD versus NVIDIA battle, mate. We had three rigs rocking three brand new graphics card, but we broke the cardinal sin of PC flipping because we built these machines using 8 gigabytes of VRAM in 2025. Absolutely disgraceful. We are a con artist. But in actual fact, mate, we built these to test whether or not people would actually buy these cards. It was the new 5060 versus the 9060 XT 8 gigabyte edition. And if you go on the Steam hardware survey, mate, the most popular cards on there all have 8 gigabytes of VRAM, despite the fact that more games are coming out these days, which require a lot more to play at high fidelity graphics. So you probably thought, given that we were selling 5060s and 9060 XTs with 8 gigabytes of VRAM, that they would have taken forever to sell, right? Nope. Wrong. All three of these things sold in under one day, mate. It was absolutely unbelievable. First of all, these two black and white rigs were rocking a Ryzen 3600, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and starting with this white angelic build, they had a gigabyte 5060, while this black Darth Vader looking beauty had the 9060 XT. We got a message immediately about the white machine. Dude just straight up asked if I could ship it to him. I said I could do it for 50 bucks and sent him some benchmarks, and he just immediately sent me the money, mate. He wanted it so bad. Wow. We are actually planning on upgrading this CPU to the 5700 X3D and said we would give it to the guy for an extra 50 bucks, which is a steal going from the 3600 to the 5700 X3D. But he asked me for the benchmarks with the 3600 and I sent it to him and he just said he wanted to keep the machine as it was. So fair enough, mate, you can have it. So after shipping it to this dude, this rig cost 693 US bucks and we sold it for 800 bucks, mate. He covered the shipping. So in total, we made a pretty paltry 107 US dollars in profit. But as I said, we wanted to sell this for cheap just because it was an eight gigabyte card. We mainly bought these cards so we could test them out. At the time, we were also selling the 9060 XT 16 gigabyte PC, so we really pushed it on these people, but mate, they did not want them. They wanted the 8 gigabyte cards, mate. So even though we tried our hardest to get them over to the 16 gigabyte PC Master Race, mate, they didn't want to be a part of it. At the same time that we built this white 5060 PC, we also built a black one, but this time on the AM5 platform. It had a Ryzen 5 8400F, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, and we built it for 723 bucks, mate. Now, this is the crazy thing. We posted it for sale at 2 a.m. and the guy messaged to buy it at 6 a.m. for 850 bucks. He was not messing around, mate. He wanted it so bad and he absolutely loved the PC. He left us a five-star review on Facebook Marketplace and said some really nice things. So thank you, buddy. And for this bad boy, we got 127 US dollars in profit. So not great, but not bad. And as I said, we wanted to give him a deal because it was an eight gigabyte 5060 card. Finally, we get to the black 9060 XT eight gigabyte PC 
PC, mate. And this guy was looking for straight up aesthetics. He asked if we could put an LCD screen on this bad boy. What in the fuck? And he also took me up on the offer to upgrade the PC to a 5700X3D. So we did it. And look at this thing, mate. It turned out amazing. His son is an Eagles fan. And to be honest, so are we, mate. We like the Eagles and the Browns. He asked us to put Jalen Hurts on the AAO. Jalen Hurts is the GOAT, mate. Super Bowl champion. Go, birds. Let me know who you support in the comments. But, mate, this is the most balling 8 gigabyte PC ever made. With the upgrades, it cost me 808 bucks, and we sold it to him for 900 bucks. So once again, we made a measly profit of only $92. But we wanted to sell these 8 gigabyte PCs for cheap, mate. We really just wanted the cards to test and benchmark against each other so we could have an AMD versus NVIDIA battle. We did like eight of these battles, mate. We are addicted. And of course, we had to put the budget cards in there. So all said and done, this guy got a hell of a deal, and he bought it for his 12-year-old son who only plays Fortnite. So 8 gigabytes is more than enough. The last PC we sold in this time frame was this 3060 Ti 5700X PC from many moons ago. The episode is linked down below and this thing legit sat on my desk for like two months. We built it for 536 bucks, which is an absolute bargain, but this is the longest it ever took for us to sell a PC. And I was quite surprised because it was a great deal and I thought it looked really great. We love the Founders Edition 30 series cards, but no one wanted it on Facebook Marketplace. We almost gave up and gave it to the Salvation Army, but Jawa came through on this. We had it listed on their website for 850 bucks. And after the sale and all the fees that Jawa charges, we made a cool 709 bucks, which equals 173 US buckarinos in profit, mate. Not bad for a PC that just sat in a corner for two months. So let's tally up everything. Our original debt starting this video was 140 bucks. Now adding all those profits together, we had 231 US dollars for the 5070 Ti, 211 bucks for the 9070 XT, 152 for the 5060 Ti 16 gigabytes, 192 for the 9060 XT 16 gigabyte, 107 bucks for the 5060 AM4, 127 bucks for the 5060 AM5, 93 dollar dues for the 9060 XT 8 gigabytes, and 173 bucks for the 3060 Ti. Slow down, baby. So I'm sure online you see all of those sellers talk about how they're getting these $400 to $500 profits on a PC, what mate. What the hell is even that? I'm not calling them liars because we have had some really ridiculous sales where we've made great profit, but it ain't always this glamorous, mate. Don't always fall for their traps, especially in the current market, which is extremely slow. Most of these sales are pretty modest, but we will take them, mate. And we largely do this because we love making content during this building process and love building with our wiener dog, Hank. We are doing everything to spend as much time as possible with him because we love our son. Aww. And we also love working with all of these different parts and components, so we try and sell them pretty reasonably so we can sell them quickly and move on to new builds and new components. But even with all that sweet copium that we are sipping on, in total, if we look from when we first started this series, we have escaped from over $5,000 in debt from our sim rig and our Dream 4090 PC, and we have now made $1,105 US dollary dues and profit, mate, so not too shabby at all. Give me a hell yeah! If you're asking me what the best PC to flip is right now, it's definitely still using NVIDIA graphics cards. The AMD PCs are starting to pick up on popularity and they're still selling for us quite well, but the Nvidia cards sell much faster. So if you're willing to wait, you can get the AMD cards for much cheaper and you could usually sell them for a bit more profit, but you might have to wait a bit longer on the sale. In terms of Intel versus AMD, go for AMD, mate. It is better bang for buck and better price to performance and people are now realizing it's a much superior system for gaming. In terms of AM4 versus AM5, they are starting to slow down production on DDR4 RAM, mate, and I think the AM4 motherboards are also starting starting to slow down in production. So for my honest opinion, look to try and get the 7500F and even the 9600X is starting to come down in price. You can get it from Micro Center for like 159 bucks now. I would go with that along with 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. And so with all those components, I would look to build between 600 to $1,000 in build price and sell for around 1,000 to $1,400. That seems to be a pretty sweet spot for selling online. We usually sell those PCs pretty fast, anything over $1,500 and it usually takes a bit longer, mate. But let me know down below what your strategy is. I love hearing about your flips and I love hearing your strategies as well, mate. But there is just one more thing I want to ask you and that's get this video to 1,000 likes, mate, so we can sell our original dream gaming PC and build a 9950X 3D 5090 PC, mate. Hank desperately needs the extra horsepower, mate. Just look at him. How can you say no to that? Now get out of here. Me and the weenie love ya. Goodbye.